One of the most common issues instructors have with student website projects is that they end up being too text heavy. Now, you're probably never gonna make a website that doesn't have quite a bit of text on it. So it's crucial that you learn how to manage text to make sure that you're not giving your audience that wall of text feeling. The first step in managing text is just to be as concise as possible. Make sure that the words you're putting on the page are absolutely necessary and omit any needless words. This can be both within paragraphs and in titles, as especially long titles will make it seem like you don't quite have a handle on what exactly the point is here. Now, it is important that you don't take this to the extreme and eliminate so much text that your web pages look blank, except for a few lines or an image or two. The second way of dealing with text-heavy sites is by breaking up the text, and this can occur through three main ways, adding subheadings, media, or stylizing the text. The first way is to add images or other media in order to break up the flow of just solid text. When adding images, make sure that they fit the overall purpose and message that you're going for. Don't add images just because you need to break up text. The second main way to break up text is by adding subheadings and subtitles within the textual passage itself. Frequently, long-form articles online are broken up into more digestible chunks by using subtitles and subheadings. Again, this avoids the wall of text feeling without eliminating all of your text. Finally, you can stylize the text in order to break up the flow of text on a page itself. By stylizing text, you might implement a block quote or a list, or you can use section breaks, perhaps with different colored backgrounds, in order to add a visual break to the overall flow of text. If you need help managing text and making sure that your websites don't feel text heavy, you can schedule a consultation in the Digital Act Studio. Happy editing.